So today I've come to visit a special place. I'm not sure what it's called, but what it is, is a market of junk. Basically, stuff that most people wouldn't use any longer. And you've got all these little vendors outside the market selling all their bits and pieces. But if you need something odd, unique, like I needed a parallel cable for a printer, and I managed to find one in here. None of the shops had it anymore anyways. And, but I managed to find one here. Uh, it's called Ladgala, Ladgala Flea Market. But when I went in there, I saw a huge amount of... This bird just sh** on me. Literally just on me. Um, is that supposed to be good luck? Going back to what I was saying, I saw a huge amount of Soviet memorabilia, Nazi memorabilia from the from the war. And I thought it'd be interesting to come over and share this place with you. In case you ever come to Riga, it's definitely a place worth visiting. So let's walk around and take a look. As you can see. They sell absolutely everything and anything from phones that nobody would dream of using anymore. There's no way that still works. They just keep it for parts. And, but here you can take a look. There's a load of antique cameras. Hello. Please. How are you? Doing good. Ah, Deutsch. Russian language. Ah, можно на русском? Конечно, можно. Не можно, а нужно. А что вы тут продаете? Камеры, да, старые? По-русски, да, По-русски, да. Ну, интересное место. Можно найти. Все почти бесплатно. Все бесплатно, а? Интересно. Из Англии. Из Англии, да. Англичанин просто... А вы хорошо говорите по-русски? Учил немножко, да. Родственников не было? Родственников. У меня дочь живет в Лондоне. А, да, я из Лондона как раз. Да. Сколько такая камера стоит у вас? Это у нас... Почему вы продаете такая? Не, я все продаю. А такая есть у вас? Вчера продал. Серьезно? За сколько? Ну, такая, у меня было бы поменьше, такая. Я отдал за 20 евро. А, я был бы купил ну, за 20. Не, это мне стоило там около 400 или 500 евро. Ну, да, а, новая, а... современная, да? Ну, это, да, да, это последняя. Вот такая есть рабочая. С зарядкой, с сумкой. Ну, это ретро, ретро. Вот сумка, зарядка и... Все у вас есть? Все есть. Вот О. есть, пожалуйста. Вот такая вот есть. Даже полароид. Уже давно такой не видел. Такой, такой, такой. Вот. Все есть. А у вас дочка в Англии живет, да? Да. В Лондоне. Интересно. А я наоборот, я здесь. Мне... А я здесь надеюсь, лучше. Мне пока нравится. Просто, знаете... Здесь дураков больше. В Англии мало. Раньше в Англии здесь такие... очень много было туристов. Да. А и, сейчас никого нет. Когда был туристический сезон, их просто приводили вот сюда, групп, там человек 20, а -а -а. и они разбредались вот здесь, специально приводили, там, ну, из парома, допустим, да. Понятно. Они разбредались, там, вот такие вот глаза у всех. А были. сейчас все убегают. Да. А это что? Тоже это камера? гладить брюки. А, а гладить брюки? Да. Очень интересно. Ну, очень приятно ну, было. Да, Анатолий. Взаимно. Джастин, очень приятно. Ну, приятно. Приходите еще. Привозите сюда туристов, чтобы что-то покупали. А где я могу найти для вас туристов сейчас? Ну как? В Лондоне позвоните. В Лондоне, да? This doesn't look like it's working. Look at this. It's just basically a market of junk. But sometimes you can find little gems. Just gonna zigzag up and down the aisles. This right here is to make pilmeni, yes. dumplings, right? Pilmeni. You lay five your, euro. Five euro. You lay your dough over there, and you press it down, and it makes the shapes. You stuff them. I don't know if they still sell those in shops, but back in the old days when people actually made their own pilmenis, 
their little Russian dumplings stuffed with meat, then that's what they would have used. I, I wonder if a place like this has any sales. I mean, if you ever needed a cable, and I think this is actually where I got mine, amongst this complete forest of, you know, cables, I managed to find the one I needed. I mean, look at this stuff, it's surreal. Now we're entering the book section. So here you can get a lot of memorabilia and artifacts from the Second World War and the Soviet Union. Mm, we've got more medals here. Здравствуйте. Why is this a grenade? Это настоящий? Да. Можно? Конечно. Не опасно, нет? Нет, пустой. Even a grenade, if anybody wants. You're from England. Where are you from? Ah, yeah, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Yes. Uh huh. Я семь лет в Америке жил. А где в Америке? Оклахома. Оклахома. Талс. Это немецкий или? Советский. Советский. So it's a Soviet grenade. These were heavy things. Лимон, да? Лимонка. 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 It's heavy as fuck. Wow. This stuff. Good old Soviet samovar. I would have had the hot water in the teapot on top. Loads of crockery. would have been some kind of officer's uniform by the looks of it. Oh, look at these bullets. They're spent. These German war helmets, 200 euros, 120 euros. I heard you can go into the forest and actually still find these things laying about in the forest. So apparently, um, there's a part in uh, in Latvia, uh, an area in Latvia, that has bunkers, and this the west part of the Latvia, west the west part. part. Yeah, I, well, I'm Justin. I am Vadim. Vadim. So th this guy goes hunting yes, well, for bunkers, right? Digging out some interesting things. And what, where, where, how far is it from from Riga? Uh, Kurzeme, well, main battle started a hundred kilometers from here. Okay. In place called Lestene. It's Lestine. a little city. There also is a, mo a, a, a couple of monuments to the legionnaires addicted to them. Uh -huh. A museum also. I've been there, by the way. My, my friend lives there. His grandpa was in the legion. SS legion, but he is not a volunteer. They just took him. Yeah. He did not want it, but... They, they forced him, yeah. Well, when Ger Germans came, he ran away with uh, another bunch of people in the woods because he was a, a farmer. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Germans kept up uh, with them all and say, if you do not go to the Legion, we will send your family to the work in Germany. And he decided to go to the Legion. Mm -hmm. That was his story. He was a gunner back then. Interesting. He survived, by the way. 
He survived. Yeah? Yes, he survived. He was kept in prison in the Soviet uh, system of gulags, but they, you see, there was such a thing as the statistics of dying, and he was sick, and they just released him from the gulag system for the prisoners, and he almost, uh, almost died on the road to the home. But he some, some, somehow managed to survive. Yes, yeah. managed to, to survive, but it was a little bit to die. So you're gonna, you go to Kurzeme and you actually dig and look for yes, this. And I, Can you show me some of the things that you may have found yourself that you're selling? They are or? not here, but I found the flask. I found the interesting uh, casings from the rifles and machine guns. Something from the planes, parts burned out, aluminium. Wow. Also, I found a couple of barrels from the MGs, MD, <coughs> MG34 and 42, and ZB27. It was a rare one. Wow. That kind of things. Very interesting. And the area again, I can find it on the map? Yes, yes, it's a hundred uh, kilometers from the Riga in west side. This is fascinating, a lot of history. Well, listen, I appreciate your time, really. Yes. I appreciate it. And, uh, guys, like I said, if you come to Riga, this is a fascinating place. Yes. And if you're into this kind of uh, wartime memorabilia, Soviet memorabilia, then definitely come and visit my friend Vadik. Did you say you Yes, name? yes, also. Vadim or Vadik? Oh, Vadim, Vadim. It's the same. Okay, <laughs> my friend Vadim. So, definitely do that. Thank you, yes, Vadim. Thank you. Meat grinder. Make some nice Russian katletas. And here we have more medals. I'm wondering if they're made in China or original. China? No China. No China? Only original. Only original, huh? Some paper money over here. There's a three ruble note. Just a sea of used power tools. And the crazy thing is, if you came up to one of these guys, I bet if you said, if you've got this little bit that I'm looking for, <laughs> they would find it. They know they had it and they would actually find it. Yes, <laughs> Nimayo. Потом буду искать. А вы что продаете? Абсолютно все. Wow, look at these scales. I remember these from when I was a kid. All right, they weren't Soviet ones. Dates from 1978. Probably manufactured in Tumen. Negotiating on one rollerblade and wheels of a trolley by the looks of it. I guess some people do need this stuff. Well, just a quick short video today just to show you this place because I find it extremely unique. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Latgala flea market where you can find everything and nothing. So if you do come to Riga, visit this place. But meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, enjoy your journey.